Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an intro for my newest project pan. This is going to be my third project pan for 2016. I will go ahead and link to my playlist up there so you can go check all of my other project pan videos if you'd like, uh, but let's dive right in. So as usual with my project pans, I have 10 different items here. None of them are rollover products. Um, they are all brand new. I have never used these in a project pan before. Most everything is makeup, but I do have two skincare things, so I will start out with those and show you those first. Um, the first one is here from Clinique. This is the Super Defense Age Defense Eye Cream with Broad Spectrum SPF 20. And you can see here I have made a mark as to where I am with this product. Um, I don't know that I will finish this in this project. I just really don't like this stuff, so I need to force myself to use it because it was expensive and it's um, coming up on almost a year old, so I want to get this done because it's got the SPF in it. Um, so yeah, I don't know, like I said, if I will finish it, but, but putting this in this project is just going to encourage me to use it. So hopefully I can get as much use out of this as I can, um, but yeah. So there's that one. And then the other skincare product I have is from Ole Henriksen. This is the Pure Truth Melting Cleanser, the three-in-one one cleansing gel -A. This is what the jar looks like, and um, you can see here how full it is. Unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to mark my progress on this. It's just going to be kind of difficult to do that. Um, I do like this product, and I've probably used maybe about half of it so far. Um, it Again, just kind of like the other product, it's getting to be a little bit old, so I just want to make sure that I use this, but I do think that I definitely will be able to finish this up in this project. All right, now moving on to all the makeup. Um, well, this first item is maybe makeup, maybe not. Um, it is an e.l.f. setting spray. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Mist. This spray is basically brand new. I've hardly used it at all, but again, like the other two products, it's just getting old, so I need to use this. I'm going to be using this like kind of the same way that I would use MAC Fix Plus or the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. I like this stuff, so I'm happy to use it. Um, and unfortunately, again, like the other one, I'm really not going to be able to um, mark my progress because the bottle is completely opaque, so I can't tell how far down I am. Um, but I'm just going to continue to use it, and as long as I, you know, use it pretty regularly, I think I should be able to finish it. Right, moving on to the next item, it's kind of two items in one. The main one that I'm going to be focusing on is this foundation here. This is the Revlon Color Safe Foundation in the uh, color Sand Beige. And it's kind of difficult to see here how much I've used because um, I think I knocked it over earlier tonight. But, but I am pretty far down here. I'm probably about here um, as far as how full this bottle really is. So there isn't a whole lot left. Um, this is a little bit too dark for me. So I am going to be mixing it with this foundation. This is the CoverGirl plus Olay Face Effect um, uh, foundation in the color Fair. Um, there isn't a whole lot left in this one. I was using this to mix with um, the Born This Way foundation earlier this year. Um, but I am going to be mixing it with this now too. And these two are what I have on today. It's not my favorite combination, but I really just want to get this one out of the way for sure. And then hopefully I can finish this one off too. Um, but I'm not as concerned about finishing this one as I am with this one. All right, moving on to item number five. This is my Urban Decay D Slick Powder. And I will show you what it looks like right now. As you can see, I have used quite a bit of this. I don't think this will take me that long to go through. I bought this over the summer last year and then I put it away once fall hit because I just didn't need something Thing so mattifying anymore. But now that we are uh, in the hotter months again, this is definitely something that I'm wanting to pull out. So I'm really excited to get to use this again. Um, and like I said, I don't think this will last me very long. It might even be gone by the next update, but um, we'll see. But I do really like this product. I'm going to be including my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in this project, and I have the color medium brown, um, and I don't have too much of this left, um, and let me show you here. So that's what this pencil looks like currently, um, and I did actually mark it on the cap as well with that little um, mark of nail polish of all things. Um, but I've been using powder mostly for my brows lately, and this has just kind of been neglected. I'd like to get it out of my collection and just use it up. Next item is a blush stick. This is from Clinique. It is one of their chubby stick cheek color balms, and this is in the color Roly Poly Rosy. This was just a free sample, but this is just taking up so much room because it's so big. Um, so I just want to go ahead and get it out of my collection. And this product is pretty much brand new. I used it today for, I think, probably for the first time. Um, but I do really like this color, but there you can see um, where I am as far as the progress goes, which, like I said, is not much at all. And then I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it, but I did mark on the cap here as well. And the last three items that I have in this product are all lip products. The first one is a lip balm. This one is from Malinin Getz. It is their Mojito lip balm. And I think there might be an air bubble in here or something because I couldn't squeeze any far down than here. But I feel like there's hardly anything left in here. Um, so I think there's an air bubble kind of trapping everything. But there you go. You can see my progress. 
had this in an Ipsy bag last year, and when I first got it, I really, really loved this product. I used so much in the first like month or month and a half that I had this product, and then I don't know if something changed with this. I mean, it still smells fine and everything, um, or just my uh, tastes and preferences changed, um, but I decided that I really don't like this all that much, but I do want to go ahead and finish it up. Like I said, I really don't think there is a whole lot left in here, so I would assume if anything really is going to be finished off by the first update next month, it will probably be this, um, unless I really can't stand to use it because it has been a while since I have used this, um, but I don't think that'll be the case, so hopefully this will be gone by the first update. And I've got a lip liner that I'm going to be adding to this project. This is from the brand Model Co. It's another thing that I got from an Ipsy bag, and I have already sharpened down the name of the product, but I believe it was called, oh shoot, I had it earlier. What was it called? Illusion Lip Liner. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I will have a link to um, as many of the products that I can find down in the description box below in case you're interested in checking any of these out. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is called the Illusion Lip Liner. Um, it's supposed to be like a flesh toned or like a lip toned lip liner so you can kind of overdraw your lips and have it all blend in and then, you know, put whatever color lip gloss or lipstick on top of it. Um, so that is where I am currently with this stuff. I do like this uh, lip liner. It's pretty nice. It's a good formula. The color isn't an exact match for my lips, so it looks a little strange, but as long as you put a lip uh, stick or something over it, it's no big deal. I did use it today. And then the very last thing I'm putting in this project is from Pixie. This is the Tinted Brilliance Balm. This is probably almost three years old now, maybe two, two or three years old. It's getting up there. Um, and I haven't used this for a really long time, and I really, really loved this when I first got it. Um, but there you can see where I am with this product. It's quite a vibrant color, but it's pretty sheer because it's a balm. I am wearing it today along with that lip liner, so I think that kind of toned it down a little bit. Um, but here's a little swatch of it for you. Um, so yeah, I think it's a lot more vibrant here than it is um, on my lips today. Um, and I didn't do a swatch of the lip liner, so let me go ahead and do that for you too. Oh, and the blush. I didn't do swatches of anything. Um, so there's the lip liner, there's the lip gloss or the lip balm, and then here's the blush. Um, so obviously that is a lot more intense and you know you kind of blend it out um, and stuff but that's what that looks like all right so back to the balm there is quite a bit of a uh, product here so I don't know that I will finish this I remember this taking quite a bit of time to even whittle down like the actual point that was on here and at one point this was like the only lip gloss that I was using or lip balm whatever um, so I was using this quite a bit when I first got it and I really haven't made all that much progress it's like right at the um, base of the packaging here as you can see I'm just going to designate this as the go-to lip color of the moment for me, so I will be using this uh, quite often. Hopefully we'll be reapplying this, you know, a few times throughout the day, so hopefully I can finish it. But if not, I can't always roll this over to the next project if I need to. So there are all my 10 products for my project pan. I'm really excited to get started on this. I think I will be able to finish pretty much everything, um, maybe with the exception of the eye cream um, and then the um, lip balm stuff, whatever it's called. Um, but I don't think I'll have a problem finishing anything else. This project will run through September 30th um, and I will do monthly updates, so uh, keep an eye out for that. But of course, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. We can also connect on Instagram. I post over there all the time and I'll have a link in the description box for you. And I will see you guys, of course, in my next video. Bye!